Okay guys, I haven't done this in a while, but I'm going to record a back-to-back -back video because I want to get a little more item in before I have to go to work. So we are going to pick up right where we left off. And hopefully you guys don't have any amazing suggestions after the last video that will keep me from dying in this video because I will not be able to read them. Because we are moving on. Up and across the wilderness we go. Actually, I should have dropped my Z because it's going to start taking up inventory space. Oh, I actually meant to drop a couple things because I didn't drop that either. Well, yeah, we're definitely going back for a little bit, aren't we? Yep, yep, we're going back for a little bit. Oh well. Not the end of the world. food, maybe too much food, maybe we should sell some of it, or just put it in a stash. Battle axes always sell for a lot of money. Cool. Okay, we'll get some potions to recharge our wand of teleportation real quick, which is right where, by where we need to drop off our inventory, so that's fine. It's not really hurting us. Ooh, no, no Dorn Beasts. Oh gosh, no. No, no Dorn Beasts. Ever. Horrible Dorn Beasts are horrible. Guys, excuse me, with my laptop or with my keyboard is even louder than usual. I actually broke the little feet off the bottom of it and that rattles. Um, we could just get all that. It's a little expensive. Should drop X one. So yeah, we'll just take some of it. Things we need: potions of booze, potion of uselessness for later, potion of exchange. I think we know how to swim, don't we? If not, we need to get some carrot juice. Another potion of booze. When we swim, we can swim, okay. What items do we have as far as potions go? Blindness. Infusion. We'll get all those. Status.
Yep. One teleportation, potion of booze. Booze recharges wands. Not sure if a curse potion of booze will recharge a wand or not. I'm not going to risk it. Now we have three charges. Ooh, one of those gave us two charges. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent. Speaking of which, I need to eat that spare morgy root. Let's sacrifice some money just in case. Those hurt in Nantium. So let's just kill them. There we go, we're fine. Actually, let's make sure those didn't come from somewhere, because if there's a nest of them going on, that would be bad. No, looks like we killed them all. Let's drop some stuff. Oh, we forgot to sell Fletcher set. Oh, see? Strange item reproduced. Drop those. Trap detection is important. Oh, I'd like to have more than three charges of that. But I think we're just going to go with what we have. Save a potion of uselessness for later. There's only one room in the game where it's useful. <laughs> and it's only useful because it's useless. Since I did this, so hopefully I don't mess it up. Ring of Dijini Summoning! The Dijini booms. Being a ring Dijini, I will grant you one wish for freeing me. Choose wisely, mortal. Red Dragon Scale Males. Let me double check that real quick, guys. Hold on, I'm going to make sure, for instance, I'm spelling it correctly. Got my phone up. I do. Thou hast chosen wisely, mortal. He is gone. We only got two out of it? That's lame. They're not even blessed. Dang it. Oh, I really want to bless that potion exchange. Yeah, let's not bless that right now. I'm gonna bless the potion exchange. Okay. I think it's everything. We still don't have bracers, which kind of sucks. Fade. We 
is kind of tough. Your equipped leather girdle is burned. Potion of confusion is shattered. Oh, man. Now, we're going to experiment. I'm going to take that shield off. Um, hmm. Theoretically, we can pierce through humanoids now. Not sure. Check on the Barbarian's quest while we're here. You should promise that you need to do more, okay. Okay guys, here we go. We are not perfectly equipped for this. So, the scummy way to do this is if you know your stuff. You know the exit staircase is through so many tiles this way and so many tiles this way. You find it and you teleport to it. Be careful, this place is full of traps. Cloak of protection is burned to ash. One, two, three, four, five. Why am I not fine? Oh, I don't have trap detection. Crap. Okay. Okay. Um. Trap detection. Could be some really good boots. That was the first floor. Bandages and arrows. That's fine. We didn't lose all of them. We can use the enemies to. Trying to find traps. Ghosts don't trigger traps, so that's not really helpful because I think this whole hallway is trapped, or it could be wrong. There's some money. This one certainly is, so. Trap protection. There we are. There we go. Now, because the arrows you get in here can be really good, so it's best to empty out all the arrow traps. And the same thing with the spears, of course. Spear traps down here. Or any arrow traps. Um, oh, yeah, up there. Glass one.
There's actually some really good drops you can get in here, so sometimes it's worth grinding. Alright. Iron boots. They're cursed. Drop all these spears, drop all these arrows we're not using. any food we're not using right now. Go ahead and get us self, ourselves fully fed. After full health. And back from bloated. So this is a chance to grind a little bit. Quarter staff. No, it's just an ordinary quarter staff, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're full health. See, I don't quite understand how this class ability works, and I don't remember. Um, It doesn't tell us there. Because I think our total armor, what is their total armor? Our total armor is pretty high. It's 250 or 270, 280, 300. Our total armor is currently 300. I mean, if we took the cap off, does it list that somewhere? Like this trip down? Well, where's a humanoid we can fight? Class powers. Maybe it shows it here. So, for instance, maces, plus seven to hit. Let's put a shield on and see what it says. Maces, plus seven to hit. I'm not sure how to tell when your class effect is working or not. Because I really like using the shield, but of course I would also like to take advantage of that class ability. Hmm. Okay, so if someone in the comments can confirm for me how exactly the calculation for the duelist class ability works. For instance, does it just include the body armor, or does it include all your armor? Is the cap for sure 250? How that works, I'd really appreciate it. And then if there's any good way to tell if it's working or not. But for right now, just in case we come across something real nasty, I'm going to equip the shield. Then we're going to take the shield back off once we see what we're dealing with. And we have to stay cool-headed, remember what our potions are, remember what our wands are. Speaking of which... We have an amulet of free action if we need it. Cold resistance if we need it. Teleportation. Extra healing and visibility. Ultra healing. 
darkness. Okay. So up the stairs we go. You enter an ancient, large chamber full of runes. Let's look what we're fight facing. Okay, so there's Ray Attempt. Tarantula doesn't concern me, neither does the mummy. Rattling Warlord doesn't really concern me. Acid Vortex is extremely concerning because it can destroy our armor. We need to kill him from range. So we may go visible immediately. Shambling Mound, I don't care. RP, I don't care. Sometimes you can face some really nasty monsters in here. Quickling Lord, that could be a problem. And although I'd like to eat his corpse, I don't think I'm going to risk it. Green Blob. Here's one plant that no sane farmer would ever grow. Spreads disease. He looks larger than other green blobs, or am I crazy? Uh, troll Berserker, not that worried. Gray Ooze. Not that concerned. Chaos Servant, not that concerned. Okay, so I'm going to keep my shield on when we're dealing with non-humanoids. And we're dealing with both the ooze and the acid vortex, then I'm going to take it all. Probably best to keep it on for the quickling too. They can't. They have trouble bypassing PV. So let's go ahead and drink that potion of invisibility right now. And now we're going to try to take a couple of these guys out. Greetings, heroine. Permit us to welcome thee in our chamber. Yes. We've waited for a long time for thee to arrive. This, thy skin will make a nice new wrapping worthy bus. Prepare to release the rights to thy skin. Okay, invisibility's not working as well as I thought. Ooh. Oh, it didn't destroy our armor, but it did kill the enemies. That's good. Now let's deal with this quickling. Where'd he go? Did the quickling die? I don't see the quickling. Let's check our log. Acid vortex is frozen by icy shards emerging from your weapon. You are engulfed by the acidic fluids. The mummy grunts one last time before it is consumed by the acidic fluids. The jackal demon yowls one last time before it is consumed by the acidic fluids. The mummy grunts one last time before it is consumed by the acidic fluids. The jackal and the mummy. Where's the quickling? Oh, right there. Let's try to kill it. Okay, it's dead. Okay. Let's kill the green blob. exactly hit the green blob and kill it okay so I'm not 100% comfortable with this but we're gonna take that shield off and see if this works see I think we should be getting a message saying we're bypassing their armor and move up towards the stairs in case we have to run away Ray tips dead Cursed Onk, which gives us good luck. Strange wrappings. Which we're going to name because there are other strange wrappings. That is the ancient mummy wrappings. Which gives a whole boatload of resistances. And you know what? No. But, uh, your encursed metal caps destroyed. Oh well. But uh, it'd be interesting if our class powers work when we have it on. Maybe we need something lighter. 
Alright, I think everything's dead, and we killed the ancient mummy lord. Rayatep. So let's get our loot. Not the best loot haul this time. Now let's try something. Ancient mummy wrappings. Let's hold on, I'm gonna Google that real quick so I can read you guys off exactly what it does, because I'm afraid I'll forget something off my memory. Ancient mummy wrappings. Appearance minus eight, which is not good because it increases the rate at which you're corrupted, especially important later in the game. Plus five PV, only weighs sixty. All right. Oh, is my phone going to be a pain? Sometimes it does not like the uh, Aiden Wiki website. Provides resistance to death rays. Grants C invisible. Hold immunity. But we will gain corruptions more quickly because of the appearance modifier. See, so, yeah, I want to fight some humanoids and see if we gain special messages. I'm not sure if he counts. Seeing any special messages. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and run with the shield. So again, if someone could let me know exactly how that class ability works. Uh, again, if it's summing all of my equipment, if it's just summing all of the armor, uh, if the limit I believe is 250, but if I'm wrong on that, let me know. Does that mean I can be at exactly 250, or does it mean I have to be at 249 and below? And then is there any way to tell if the class ability is working? So if you could enlighten me, I would appreciate it. Oh, my phone's going off in the background. People are contacting me about work. Ooh, terrible subject. All right, so there's that. We're only 30 minutes into the video. I'm going to drop some stuff off, and then I would like to become a lawful. Not going to worry about IDing these spears right now. I just don't want to mess with it. Probably just gonna sell all the spears anyway. So we are gonna go work on becoming a lawful so that we can enter dwarf town. Our quests are the old barbarian wants to slay more of the beasts of the type he first slew after entering the Dracular chain. The sheriff and Trini, I want you to bring Hots and Plots, the Grand Lord of the Bandit, to hide out to justice. And Hots and Plots ask you to slay the sheriff. Well, since we're gonna be lawful, I don't think we want to do that last one. We may do the opposite. Do you have anything new to sell? Nope. Is there anything else we want to do here before we turn the town hostile? 
Probably not. Cool. Let's go try to kill hots and plots. I find it's best to do this at range if possible. Even better do it with a wand, really. Well, we don't want to fight a beggar, that's for sure. But I also don't want to be surrounded. We are poisoned. Oh, he deals a lot of damage. We can escape if we need to. Such as right now. Oh, he's almost dead. Let's pray. There we go. Kill these little goons here. Grunge and munge. You're dead. Take the money. Kill him while we're here. Lose her. Exit town. Go back to town. Chat with the sheriff. Congratulations, you've vanquished a dangerous foe. Hasenplatz has been a dangerous enemy for many years. Take this reward as a sign of recognition of your valor. Congratulations, you've completed the quest. You know, we set bounties on criminals and bring them in. Does it give me new quests? Maybe find Bluff's mom. You know, we set bounties on criminals' heads. Is that an actual quest? No. Drop an amulet on the ground, which we will now be equipping. Bless Marble Amulet. Which we will also name. That is an amulet of order. It will slowly shift us towards lawful. We're at M plus now. It shouldn't take too long. So let's go grind a little bit, I guess. feeling around your neck that means we're shifting towards lawful. Horrible Dorn Beast, no. Long abandoned tunnel. We'll see what's up with that. Steel Golem, can we hurt him? Nope. And I don't want to have our equipment burned. That is the entrance to Dark Forge, which we will be going to later. Itching feeling around your neck. No, do not fight the horrible Dorn Beast. Rage them by eating their friend. Guess we could do one of these. Moldy dungeon entry. See what's down here. Glass amulet. Oh, so many rats. Drop anything good? Giant rat corpse will eat that. Still in plus, waiting for lawful.
Yeah, the necklace, I believe, also reduces the impact of chaotic acts that you commit. The moldy dungeon is just one of the random dungeons. Ooh, mixed tension room with a rust monster. I think most of our equipment is subject to rust. Well, the Red Dragon Scale Mail probably might be. I don't know. Let's be bold. Rust Monster misses us. We slay it. No cats, so that's good. Mage Bane eyes, no threat to us. Get some money. Anything good? Bandage, money. Okay, Lizard Corpse. Lizard Man Corpse. We're currently satiated, so I'm not worried about it. Stugari, rat. Scroll to identify, cool. Hundreds of tiny insects crawl beneath your feet, and the whole round seems to be covered with tiny white eggs. I don't feel overly threatened by this zone. Which is a bad thing, because it means we'll encounter something overpowered. Never be confident, Maiden. It doesn't work out well. Dark predictions. I actually don't remember what that does. Something bad, my guess is. Monies. Kill some rats. Kill an orc. Let's go down. Really need to train our archery. It's dark here. Wand of Light. Take the robe just in case it's something good. First duelists take a penalty on learning how to shoot arrows. So that means we need to do even more training. Zero training right now on our arrows. Statue resembles a bipedal frog with one foot much larger than the other in a martial arts pose. An inscription at the bottom reads in memory of Ribby, the foot of justice and beloved king. Let's kick it. Statue rotates on his base and kicks you back. You tumble along the floor if they're being hit by some strong force. Huh. That's new. Never seen that one before. It's cool. Wand of trap protection. That would have come in handy earlier, but oh well. And I'm forgetting to shoot my bow. around too much of that. Let's go down. We're still N plus. It's still lawful. 
<laughs> See, I always thought there should be something special at the end of each of these dungeons. Like an artifact or a vault or just some sort of special loot. Some arrows. Out of ammunition. We need to conserve for a little bit. We're running low. Uncursed ruined Libram. Isn't that... Oh, Moldy Dungeon. Uh, let me look at something. Random ones. Yes, this is a random dungeon. Ruin Libram. I think that's the Tome of Donors, which I've never found before. Don't even know what it does. It's an artifact book. Hmm. I'll have to Wikipedia it. what I think it is. We may have to do a greater identify on it as well. Not sure has anyone found a tome of donors on YouTube yet? Not that'd be cool. I always like finding new stuff on YouTube. I mean, I'm sure other people have found it, but it's good to put it out there to the YouTube committees, community so that other people who haven't found it get to see it. Especially new players who are wanting to learn more about the game. That's a Kit Kat. Is there door in this room? There's not. Goodbye, kitty cat. Yes, I want to lock the door. Yeah, it's the end of the dungeon. That's a rest monster. Missed the rest monster. You missed the rest monster. The rest monster. Okay, we killed it without losing any armor. That's cool. Take our arrow. Trying to throw in perps. Are we hungry? No. Not gonna mess with any of that. We are now in L. I would 
like the L. But I think that means we are lawful now. For intents and purposes. And I know how to check that. I don't think I hit anything. Check my literacy, but you know what? Alright. Topaz ring, wall skill increase. Actually. Let me apply law. Oh, it gives you more information when you click on them. I don't know if that's new or I just never knew about it. Law allows you to notice maybe whenever you go beyond law and commit a chaotic act, it will also make you make known to you particular lawful acts. If the skill score is greater than or equal to 88, it will internally allow them to always make two skill checks when one was requested by the circumstance and use the better result. Skill score is equal to 100. Adam will make three skill checks. Okay, does it do that for all the skills now? So let's look at haggling. Skill allows the haggling down of prices for items. Charisma is also important. The PC good at haggling probably will have few problems to make a bargain. Please note that although you might have bargained successfully, times price for individual items won't necessarily go down since Adam drops all fractions and rounds prices. Heard that skill's not worth using, and I've never really messed with it. Any others we want to look at? Athletics. It's a passive skill. It is used to raise your physical attributes by training your muscles and movement powers. Whenever you raise level, the skill influences your chance to raise a physical attribute. Athletics works especially well for characters with low or very low physical attributes. Skill also slightly influences your looks. Athletics also affects your speed score. At 70 plus, you gain plus 1 to speed. At 75, you gain plus 2 to speed. At 80 plus 3, 85 plus 4. At 90 plus 5. At 95, you gain plus 6. At 100 plus 8. Yep. Cool. You missed the cave, Tiger. We are so lucky right now. Oh, that's what you get for holding down keys. Lock him in there. Kill the bear. Kill the ghost. Kill the giant. You're berserk. We're supposed to be very aggressive. I was using the wrong stance. And again, berserk instead of very aggressive. Wrong stance. That sword looks good. Let's take it. Counter grizzly bear. Yeah, sure. We'll fight it. There we go. Very aggressive that time. All right. Let's see if the potion shop restocked. Oh, and I was trying to do something, wasn't I? We fall in law skill. No, thought maybe we could apply it to ourselves. Ooh, potion shop restocked. Blindness, extra healing, longevity, water, booze, learning, boost. I don't care. Invisibility, water, balance, carrot juice, boost. Water, carrot juice, water. We're going to take a lot of those. Healing's not really that great once you get past a certain level. Did someday need Potion of Balance, but I doubt it. Boost Learning can be useful when you're reading spell books. Extra Healing, Booze, Longevity, Water. How much is all that worth? 8,000, a little more than I want to spend right now. What 
do I want to get? Another potion of invisibility? Yeah, definitely. Water, definitely. Don't want to hire any mercenaries. Apparently, if you hire an evil mercenary, such as this Brunia, the female Dark Elven warrior, it uh, does bad things. It lowers your alignment. Plus, it'd be the. I guess it's a way to grind it, though, if you wanted to. Plus, it'd be the. Blessed be the. Sometimes they say something that I almost think you can act on, but I'm not sure. Um, me so hungry. Blessed be the. So you see, I wonder if you give him food. So, like a loaf of earthland bread. The Paladin of Order devours the loaf of earthland bread. So I'm guessing that increases our alignment. And now he'll say, Blessed be the. You keep checking, another one will eventually say they're hungry. Wish to confess your sins, yes. Monk of Order meditates with you on your sins and absolves you. He seems to be content. See, I believe that's what means we're lawful now. Dwarves and cave, they're aware. Drop unknown status. And it all got identified. That means that we are in fact lawful. It did not, however, convert our potions to holy water because we are to have enough piety. Nine, four, six, seven. Feel inner peace. There we go. Now we have holy water again. Sacrifice more. Items. What do we have now? Keep running law until we get to full lawful. Check out this robe. It's just a plain robe. Long sword. Let's throw a long sword. And D8 plus 3, 7. Hard Manty Mace is still better. We sold some gloves a little while ago, didn't we? That was a mistake. Oh well. Leave the settlement, we can now go to Dwarf Town. Drop some items. Curse Necklace of Rabbit Healing. That was a Blessed Necklace earlier. How did that happen? There are monsters if they touch an item in your bag of curses, so. Must be what went down. That's a shame. Actually, we'll bless it again. Well, not yet. We'll do it when we get ready to change necklaces. Drop a bunch of things. We will, however, bless that potion of invisibility. we need it. 
like to get more water. And towards Georgetown we go, but I fear that this video is out of time, so thank you very much for watching, and in the next episode we will journey down to Dwarf Town and get our next set of quests for the mid-game. See you later.